Hey everybody. Hey. <laughs> Luca and I are here in our home and we are hosting our guests from tours who have gone on, on tours with us in the past and Patreon supporters. Anybody who wanted to come to Seattle to hang out with us and eat food? How's it going, Boo? Having fun? So lots of fun. It's, it's, it's just really nice here. It's lots of conversations about various tour things and lots of good food and drinks. And yeah. I think every, everybody's had an Aperol Spritz so far. So the, the, the conversation <laughs> is Including you? Lively. You're not supposed to say that on... Oh, no. I, I unfortunately didn't get it. I think yeah. we, we ran out of ice before I could get some. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought for those of you that couldn't make it today uh, here to my house in Seattle, that I'd just give you a little quick uh, lap around the room to show you what we're up to today. Uh, so this is the first Adventures with Sarah tour reunion at my house, and we're just kind of enjoying food and friendship, and a lot of people here have done six, seven, eight, nine tours with me so far since we launched our company a few years ago. And uh, we've got some great guests here. We've got uh, my assistant, Allison some of you have met, and we have Lisa Anderson, my friend who runs uh, tours in Italy for me. So come along, you can see my house a little bit, the me my, oh, my messy house, sorry. <laughs> and all the food that we've made. So let's have a look here. You guys have to wave. That's Betsy's done a lot of tours with me. Steven's done a lot of tours with me. <laughs> I pay them to smile, right? <laughs> this is Allison, my assistant. So if you ever email uh, info at adventureswithsarah.net. Yep, so Allison is in charge of making sure you guys get your questions answered. We've got lots and lots of wine over here. My favorite just... You brought some Aperol reinforcements. That's a good idea. This is really good. This one, Tamarack Cellars. I like this. This is, this is just a Bordeaux. It's a kind of... Oh. Yeah, I love this stuff. That's really good. So we've got snacks, we've got pizza. Let's see what we've got over here on the buffet. We've got, I made Tuscan bean and uh, sausage stew, which is one of my favorite go-to dishes for this weather. We've got charcuterie. We've got pigs in a blanket because yeah, why not? We've got pasta that somebody brought, just little snackies. Over here, we've got all the sweets. And we have Lisa and Don over here. Don, who has been on a bunch of my tours, but now is going to start working for me. And Lisa, who, I, I don't know, you just live with me now. <laughs> Lisa's been on how many tours this year? Eight tours with our company this year. And you just took a total, like, risk by coming on tour. Yeah. And I hope it paid off. <laughs> So which tours did you take this year? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's Rick, her husband. <laughs> Rick and, yeah, go ahead. Turkey with me and Thailand. Yeah. That is a lot of tours. So I know what are you doing next year? You're doing you said four five? Romania. Romania? And then we're gonna do Ireland. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, you're doing all that well, we're going so far. <laughs> Alright, so I do not pay these lovely people to come on my tours or to say nice things about us, but they've been on a ton of our tours and they keep coming back. So I, say, I guess that says something. <laughs> Aww, you're so sweet. Yeah. Aw, thank you so much. That's what I try because I think that tra travel when you know too much is not so fun. Yeah, it's better to be surprised. And Rick keeps coming back for more, even though I encourage Lisa to do things like buy Turkish carpets. <laughs> And leather jackets. And leather jackets, I know. I'm sorry, Rick. <laughs> so the Marinellis are wonderful. Thank you guys for coming today. All the way from Florida to my house, which is amazing. 
And over here we've got some people who have been on a lot of my other tours. We've got some friends who went to Egypt and Jordan. Uh, my friend over there, Sandy, who's been on a bunch of my tours. We've got some newbies who have not yet been on my tours but are signed up. And then I'm going to come on over here. And this is Lisa Anderson, who you all probably know, with her mouth full. What you doing, Lisa? You're at, oh, you have Amaretti, yes. I, hi, I haven't met you yet. No, I'm Virginia. <laughs> hi, Virginia. That's okay. Virginia ID, yeah? Yes. So nice to meet you. Yeah, no, I recognize you. <laughs> so, cool. All right. And Tamara, who's been to Egypt with me, Egypt and Jordan. So, having fun? Yes. <laughs> Lisa is our bartender today, so. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think you're gonna have to. So Lisa is our guest who came from the furthest. She came from Northern Italy to be here today. You did it just for that, right? <laughs> so what are you, what tours are you leading for me this next year? Yeah. Yeah. And we'll see what else. We have to we have to talk about schedule. <laughs> cool. Yeah, so Piemonte is her kind of thing that she and I dreamed about years ago. It's where I live in Italy. Yeah. And then I'm actually going to not surprise her, but I'm telling her right now I'm taking her, I'm going to come and visit her in Venice and join her on the Venice tour for a few days. So you can still come to Venice with us if you want. It's really fun. And Venice in March is fantastic. Actually, is. all the tours that we're doing, one of the things that was so nice last year, having been in very overcrowded places, and I think you were as well, is that uh, the places that we're going on tour, both in Piemonte, in Venice, because we're there off-season, and in Puglia, are not overcrowded, and it's a really, really wonderful thing. So whether you're coming in the spring or the fall, and hopefully the spring won't be overly hot as well. Yeah. September is going to be a little warm still, but... It'll be fantastic. Yeah. What do you think? So just FYI, we have spots on almost all of our tours, except for some, the Palio, I think, is full. Ireland is full. Morocco is full. But our other tours do have spots available. By the way, if you are interested in going to Ireland, we are going to add an Ireland tour at the very end of the season in October, end of October, October 23rd, and I'll be with my friend Stephen McPhillamy. I'll probably show up for a few days. I'm not promising it, but if my dad behaves himself on the first tour, I might send him on the second one so we're gonna have that out on our calendar soon if you'd like to book a tour to go to Ireland at the end of October who's here oh okay and here is Nico who is my child who is socializing really well <laughs> the fact that you're here at all is pretty impressive I am thankful for your presence, and I'm thankful for all of your presence, so thank you for joining us for this little peek at our party at my home today. Uh, my boyfriend just got here, so i got to go and introduce him to all of our guests. So I think we're going to make this an annual event. You're going to be invited to my house next year if you're either a Patreon member or if you are um, a person who's gone on any of our tours. So if you book one of our tours or join, sign up for Patreon, we're going to just keep having events like this. I might even do a summer Patreon thing. That would be really fun. Uh, have a picnic in our backyard or something. So uh, thank you guys all for following us. And for those of you that couldn't join us, I really hope you get to join us at one of these events in the future. This is really so much fun. So. All right, I got to go have some nibbles and have a drink and enjoy our party. So see y'all later.